So this is Griffith CNM problem 1.4. Um, it says use the cross product to find the components of the unit vector n hat perpendicular to the shaded plane in figure 1.11. So um, if we look at the figure, it's, it looks like this z, y, and x axes. And there are three points. We'll go one on the x axis, three on the z, and two on the y. And connecting these, we have uh, these three points to find our plane. Okay, and the, I'm not sure how well I can draw this, but the, the n hat vector is coming out of the plane um, and normal to uh, this plane. So we need to find the components of the unit vector. So in order to do this, we need to, um, we'll just take uh, two vectors that are in this plane and use the cross product of the two. So I'm just going to um, just draw a vector from this point here to this point here, like that, and also one from here to here, and if I take the cross product of this one um, to that one, then I get the um, the direction of this uh, unit vector right here. Um, so in order to get these components, I'm going to just shift this vector over. Um, so if I look at this, you know, I'll call this one A and this one B. Um, if I look at A, if I move it one unit over so that the, the arrow heads right here on the on the origin, you, know, you can also you know add a couple vectors to, to get this one. But um, if I just shift it over, then I have at the well, I'll just draw it right in. Looks like just like that. Okay, so now I'm one unit. Um, behind the origin in the x uh, direction, and then still I'm 2 in y and 0 in z. So that's one of my vectors. The other one, if I shift that one, I'm minus 1 in the x, 0 in y, and I'm 3 in z. I guess. All right. So now we just need to get the, we'll call it C for now, C is A cross B. Um, and so C is going to be some vector that's parallel to N, but um, we'll have a different um, magnitude. We'll divide by the magnitude to get just the direction, just the unit vector. Um, So, if I just use little i, j, k, put in a, minus 1, 2, 0, minus 1, 0, and 3, take this determinant here, and I get, um, so 6i minus and a plus so a 2 and a K I believe I did that right um, so yeah we just have 6i put the hat on the i plus 3j plus 2k all right, so now we just need to find the magnitude of this vector. Divide this by the magnitude, and we'll have a unit vector, um, which is n hat. All right, so the magnitude is 6 squared. Uh, so we have 3 squared plus 2 squared. I'm just going to take the square root of 
that. Um, so I'm just going to call this C. Or we can write it that way. All right. So, uh, so 36 plus 9 plus 4. That's uh, 49. 49 squared root of 49 is 7. So we just divide C here by its magnitude and we'll get n hat. So n hat equals 6 over 7i plus 3 over 7 j plus 2 over 7k. So there is our our unit vector, the three components of our unit vector, um, which is perpendicular to the plane defined by these three points.